New at noon, some local faith leaders are coming together to take a stand against the massive Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools bond proposal. The two and a half billion dollar bond is being put up to voters on the ballot in November. WBTV's Mary Hawkins joins us now live in Charlotte. Mary, this is a ton of money coming from taxpayers. What are they against? Well, Naya, I can tell you the African American Clergy Coalition says they want it to be clear. They support public education and they say they support the best interest of the taxpayer. And they say that is exactly why they're urging voters to say no to this bond. Now, they say they do want money spent on public education, but they want it paid for through CMS capital improvement budget or through the county's capital improvement program, but not by increasing taxes. If the bond is passed, taxpayers would shell out an additional three cents per $100. The district would use some of that money to build new schools, though the coalition says the district does not need new schools. It needs to spend money on recruiting and retaining experienced teachers. The coalition says the bond does not address pay issues for staff or academic improvement for students. The property tax increase would be over the next five years. The coalition says this could force people out of their homes, specifically seniors and low income homeowners. It is absurd for us to continue to build new schools when there are empty seats at other schools. And as a taxpayer, I'm offended that I would be asked to do that. I'm even more offended that you would ask for me to pay for it at a time when interest rates are the highest that they are in 20 years. There should be absolute outrage. Now I reached out to Charlotte Mecklenburg schools for their response. Once I hear back, you will get that on air and online. But for now, reporting live in Uptown Charlotte, Mary Calkins, WBTV on your side. Well, thank you so much.